Hello again, it's archivist David Thomas at the Crescent Kerner Centre at Red Ruth. Sometimes archives can be mysterious and quite challenging. And on the table today is a small little document which is entitled Avery the Pirate. And it comes from the archives of the Hawkins family in the Johnston collection, which is here in the archive. And it talks about some treasure which is deposited on the beach, uh, shipwrecked near the Lizard, Henry Avery. And Henry Avery in, in 1695 had acquired a vast treasure, probably of a value of 89 million pounds at today's prices, hundreds of thousands at the time. And he describes here in this document, chests of wood two feet long and one foot wide. In it were precious stones and bracelets, large rubies, sapphires, emeralds, topazes and diamonds. And it goes on, third chest has 3,000 pieces of eight, besides bullion not weighed, but crammed in with pieces of brocade. What makes this document very fascinating is that these events, if this is actually genuine, were in the mid or early to mid 1690s. If I were to hold this uh, document up to the light, it has a watermark on it dating from the year 1818 in the early in the 19th century. So is this document a copy of a much older document which was written out from an older record in the 1690s and does it genuinely record vast amounts of treasure buried somewhere near the lizard or is it a glorious hoax, one of the best probably ever perpetuated? We'll let you judge that one but um, it's a document that's much asked for and much copied amongst the archives of the Cornwall Record Office at Crescent Curnow um, for obvious reasons.